Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome to episode 1 of Let's Play Jurassic Park The Game. Also known as Telltale's Jurassic Park. This is a game that you guys voted for, even though you might not have known you were voting for it. And uh, I wasn't really sure if I was going to do it because it's not a great game. This is probably the worst Telltale game I've played. Now, I haven't played all of them, but uh, of the ones I've played, it's definitely the worst. Both from a kind of story thing and from a technical perspective. This game seems to have had a lot of problems in development. It was originally meant to be released in Telltale's typical episodic format, where they release an episode and then release later episodes kind of whenever they feel like it. But instead, it got pushed back from its original release of April 2011 to November 2011, at which point all four episodes came out in one package. There was no way to get these separately, except for on the iOS version, which uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get into the game. Now, this game's not very long, so uh, I'm expecting this is probably not going to be a very long LP. And it plays a lot more linear even than Telltale's other games. It sort of cuts out all that walking around and picking stuff up from, you know, Walking Dead and Tales from the Borderlands and Game of Thrones and such. Anyhow, let's just get into uh, episode one here. When T-Rex roars again. Now, I did do a first impressions video on this quite a while ago, I think when it came out. So, uh, if you've seen that, you'll probably already know what's coming in this first episode, since it's probably going to be a roughly the same length. I mentioned this game has development issues, but it also has a lot of technical issues that are much more prevalent than in later Telltale games. In addition to the sort of Telltale stutter, where the game sort of chugs up when it's switching camera angles, it also just does that in the middle of camera angles. So if you see weird stuttering and stuff, that's probably more the game than my computer. So we're sort of just dropped in here with our sort of tutorial. This is an action scene, which means it's pretty much entirely QTEs with nothing uh, else. These various arrows are just uh, basically, you know, WSAD prompts. Got that familiar can of Barbasol there. And then we're dumped into the other kind of gameplay, which is exploration scenes, where you can kind of freely look around, but there's none of that, uh, there's no walking or anything. And in bigger scenes, we'll actually just have multiple scenes we can transition between, but again, there's no free movement or anything. It's pretty much just, you can move as far as the camera will let you. Time to QTE it up. This is also the first Telltale game to have actual character death as a fail state. So if you screw these QTEs up, not all of them will kill you, and kind of neat, some of them will actually, uh, you know, keep playing out and they'll have an extra little thing. But you won't just die immediately. But you never know which uh, ones are going to do that, so you pretty much want to always succeed. Here's also one of these mini-games. This one kind of sucks. You gotta drag the stupid green thing around and hold it on the thing. It's pretty easy there, but later ones are frustrating. This kind of gives you the assumption that these double key presses will always be the same direction, but they're actually not, and if you press the wrong direction it'll count as failing. It's like that one there is a right and then down. So you definitely don't want to rush through those. And of course, gotta have button mashing.
and of course you get a uh, ranking at the end of these action scenes. Basically, you can only fail once before you lose your gold rating, and fail twice before you lose your silver rating. So here we got a little bit more of that uh, obvious iOS integration, because obviously those uh, button prompts are just taps on an iOS, and here we got a drag or a swipe. So it kind of feels like it was delayed almost just to ensure that it got on iOS as well. So we've got our mysterious lady protag running through the woods being pursued by an equally mysterious dinosaur. That's obviously not from Jurassic Park the movie. Uh, we'll be seeing more of her later. She's also not our only protagonist. Now, the game does take place before, during, and mostly after Jurassic Park the movie. So right now we're still kind of before everything's gone to shit. Yeah, it's a great view, but where are the dinosaurs? There should be Triceratops out there. Sometimes they're kind of hard to spot. I'd like to point out that that's supposed to oh, be yeah? Jerry Harding, the... Where'd you get those? Uh, these? You know, caretaker yeah, of those. the dinosaurs that, that we see in the first movie. Me, your boss, John Hammer, or whatever. He looks he likes nothing me. like his original that was appearance. was generous of him. Thanks. What are our symptoms? Low imbalance, disorientation, labored breathing. It seems to happen about every six weeks or so. Yeah. I see jungle and stuff, but no dinos. Just look around. You'll find them. Like there, you can hear some of the audio clipping. That's also a problem hey, with the game. there's a zoom thingy on here. We spare no expense. Definitely going to be hearing a lot of Jurassic Park references, too. What's that yellow flower? It's kind of like Mom's Bird of Paradise, only, you know, healthy. Sounds like Heliconia. We imported them from the mainland to brighten up the place. You guys have more flowers here than dinosaurs. Yeah, but they're good-looking flowers, right? Can we go down there and see the dinos up close? When I worked in San Diego, did I let you into the tiger enclosure? That was totally different. Besides, I was only like seven. Right, and you scared the daylights out of me. Wait, wait, I definitely see one. Oh, he just ran away. Actually, it's a she. They're all female. So, which way did she go? Hmm. Well, let us solve our first investigative puzzle here. There's a bunch of, like, dinosaur footprints around that plant. Our Triceratops are big fans of banana leaf. They're probably nearby. There's also not a lot of clear definition between stuff you're supposed to interact with multiple times. Because, uh, you know, like some of these, the question mark will disappear. Other ones, it won't disappear, and you'll know there's another thing, but then some of them, it won't disappear, and it's just nothing. It's just either the same thing, or just, like, zooming in to look at it. And this is the same thing with dialogue later on and stuff, too. Which that clipping tree. How can we fence in the nice dinosaurs? It's safer for them, and safer for us. Herbivores can be dangerous, too. This place would be way more fun without all the fences. <laughs> yeah, I don't think fun is quite the right word. Wouldn't it be, like, educational if I stuck around here another day or two? You know, I think your mom might miss you a bit. Are you kidding me? She'd be, like, totally happy. Oh, come on. No, she wouldn't. Yeah, she would. Sure, it'd be more fun, and then, you know, there'd be the oohs and ahs, and then the running and the screaming. It'd be great. Prince go in the stream. Sure, the Triceratops went in for a dip. She must have come out somewhere. What's that little bunker building? Just a maintenance shed. For dinosaurs that need repairs? Yeah, sure, we like to keep them tuned up, you know. Does that shed have a bunch of broken lawnmowers in it like our old shed? Those weren't broken. They were undergoing restoration. I see 
a... Oh, never mind. It's a rock. I see a rock. Maybe there's a dinosaur hiding behind that rock. I never really uh, made the association, but Jerry Harding here is also supposed to be uh, the father of Sarah Harding, who is, of course, uh, Ian Malcolm's girl in The Lost World. Hey! There's a dinosaur shaking that tree! He's also a, a biologist, I guess? I don't know, what would his job oh, be forget here? forget it. Just some birds. He's like a dino vet. There's footprints coming out of the stream. You're on the right track. Get it? On the right track. Footprints. There's a car down there. Must be Hammond's visitors. He's got some hotshot paleontologists here to see the park. I bet they get to see some dinos up close. Now, I'm not sure what point of the uh, movie that's supposed to be, where they've just left the jeep there. Because it's not the sick tri triceratops part, because that's later on. And, of course, Harding would be there. This should totally be down there. Since that's like his one appearance in the movie. There's a pile of, like, brown stuff. Is that... Probably. And that would tend to indicate a dinosaur in the area. I'm thinking more like ten. That is just... large. Keep looking at that poop. Like that. It's just there so you can zoom in on it, and then zoom out. Okay, I see her! Wait, there's a bunch of them! Oh, awesome! They're fighting! I totally wanted to see this! Well, actually, it's more of a dominance display than a fight. You remember how patchy was when your mom got that new puppy? Lady Margaret's like that with the younger Triceratops. Seriously? Lady Margaret? Yep, that's what we call the Alpha. See those horns? They're more than three feet long. Good for fighting T-Rex, right? When do we get to see that? <sighs> That's not gonna happen. I'm busy enough without holding gladiator fights. Which reminds me, remember I said I've got a sick Triceratops to check on? I should get going. I'll drop you at the guest house. Really? Already? Well, it'll give you some time to pack your stuff. The boat leaves tonight, remember? I don't have any stuff. I practically just got here. Well, at least you gotta see Triceratops fight. Actually, it was more like a dominance display. Smart ass. Come on, let's go. Let's look for clear skies tonight. No fun on that boat when the waves are rough. I told you, Nedry isn't here. Fat bastard's probably stuck in a doorway somewhere. Don't worry about it. Plan B is ready. I have Plan B right here. Nedry's not gonna double cross us. The money's too good. No, she doesn't know your name. She doesn't know anything she doesn't need to know. What, you think it matters? Hey, guess who's on the line? It's Dodgson. I got Dodgson here. Dodgson. Dodgson. We've got Dodgson here. She doesn't care. Come on, my contact's gonna be here any minute. So we're back to our mysterious lady protagonist here. Obviously she's in a bit better of a way right now than she was er earlier, but also later, since this is still earlier, earlier in the day. Does Ingen know you stole their jacket? This is a covert op. I gotta blend in. Yeah, so what about me? Just, uh, follow my lead. And this is, of course, Nedry's contact at the docks that he never made it to. What's in the photo? This. This is what's gonna make us both rich. It's what we're here to collect. Shaving cream. Uh-huh, sure. Shaving cream. So yeah, again, we can't actually like walk around the docks here. We can only just kind of glance around and look for things to observe. How long are we gonna wait for your contact? It might be a while. Uh, according to the tracker, he's not even close. Occasionally you can pop up this dialogue thing. This is also weird because it seems like some of these are, you know, 
talking to the person in the scene, but some of them is just her talking to herself. And there's no way to tell which one's which. Doesn't your shaving cream have a time limit? Just relax. Chances are Nedry's gonna show up okay. at the last minute. Son of a... Okay, I guess we're going in after him. If anyone stops us, show him this... this. What's the problem? We need access passes to get past security. Damn it, Dutch. I gotta make a phone call to an idiot. Don't let anyone see you. Without those passes, we're cooked. Osprey. K. Neto. So, now this little thing down here popped up and we can switch through scenes. These are generally where you need to solve puzzles by going from scene to scene. And is the main gameplay... Oh, shit. Keep forgetting the escape dumps you back to the main menu. Let me hit resume here. So yeah, we can switch between scenes. Well, there's some access passes there, but obviously we're not just going to stick our arm in the window. That'd be a little suspicious. It's also a weird thing where you kind of have to tilt the camera to make sure that it's focused on the thing you're trying to observe, otherwise it won't actually uh, let you click on it. Like these things, like here, I can't click on that until I actually tilt the camera up at I'm not it. Not going back in that ship. Which just seems silly. I looked in the envelope. I checked it twice. I'm telling you. They're not in there. You and your You can vaguely hear Dodgson on the line. If you spend more time on operational details and less time playing spy, we wouldn't have this problem right now. Now Dodgson shows up in the movie at the very beginning, but he's more of a central character in the Lost World. Uh, I think he is actually in the original novel, if I remember. But in the Lost World novel, he's a central character that actually shows up on Isla Sorna. And he's basically a... I guess a, a sort of... spy slash corporate acquisitions guy. He steals technology from other people for Biosyn. Which is the company that is trying to steal these embryos and make a profit on them. So weirdly, they're apparently trying to steal them to use them for animal testing because, on the basis that they have no rights because they're not real animals. That's great. Thanks a lot. Very helpful. Well, we're hosed. Maybe not. What do you mean? So the puzzle here is pretty simple. Uh, we saw the guard's phone number for that booth, so we just have to distract him while we steal the passes. I got the guard's phone number. Call him and keep him busy. What? Then you sneak past and I stay here? Well, that's not gonna work. No, Baboso. I can get us the access passes. Fine. What should I tell him? Just keep him talking. Oh, uh, hi. No, no, like I said, I worked the morning shift, but that was only as a fill-in because there were a... Yeah, but hold on. There's one more... Hey! I thought you said... Oh. Okay, that was good, but... Hey, hey, hold on a second. You work for me, remember? That means I hold call the there. shop. You can't go that way. Hello there. Hi. Uh, uh, we have passes. Well, that's good. This is a storm evacuation. All non-essential personnel need to leave the island. You need to get on that boat. Yes. I, I mean, I, I have some, uh, some essential... Who are you with? I'm, I'm with you. I'm new. What about her? She's she's uh, she's with maintenance. <clears throat> Go ahead, tell him. I do repairs. In this storm? What exactly are you fixing? Well, I mean, what's the most important part on the island? I fix fences. 
rain or no rain, you've got to get them repaired. What's with the machete? It's a good tool, all purpose. Cutting, pounding, you name it. Anchor up in five. All aboard now. You still get a rating at the end of these, but I don't think you can ever not get this. gold. Do you vouch for her? What? I said, do you vouch for her? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Move your butts. Next time, you better let me do the talking. This big one like us. Miles is a charming fellow, isn't he? At least, the rain's easing up. Ow! InGen should have paved this whole island. InGen should never have come here. What? Step back, Mr. Chadwick. What, you don't like my aftershave? I don't want any accidents. And for some reason, instead of following the road or anything, they just decide to walk straight through the jungle. Which means quick time. Lots of quick time. And I always fuck this one up at least once. I really wish that the prompts weren't just like all over the place, because it's easy to miss them. That one, I always fuck up. It's I think it's just because it's slower. Jungle's dancier. But like, I'm pretty sure you can get through this whole scene without actually succeeding at any of these. It would just take a lot longer. Monstrosidad. Engine is ruining the island. Is it so important to keep people out? Uh, it's more about keeping things in. J no, just it's it, it's just it's sort of like a zoo. You know what I mean? You expect me to believe that? Don't don't worry about it. There's nothing you know dangerous in there. Just find find a way through. There's nothing dangerous inside the 10,000 volt electrical fence meant to keep things in. The light's off. Yeah, I bet that means the power's out, right? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Ladies first. I mean, at least we don't have to worry about the power just coming back on like uh, poor Tim there. 10,000 volts? Why so much? Probably just trying to keep out the teenagers. Esto no me gusta nada. I'm glad that the subtitles just give you the exact Spanish. There you go. Power's gotta be out. Yep. What does your little toy have to say? It's a portable tracking system, sweetheart. And it says that we're damn close to that canister. It just happens to look like a smartphone. All right, gotta psych ourselves up before we touch the fence. <gasps> oh, thank God. I, I mean, you know, it's just... Lead the way. Now, if she poked it with a machete, would the electricity transfer through the wood on the handle? Well, this shouldn't be too bad. I mean, the Dilophosaurs are clearly already out of their pen. What is it? So inside the pen should be safe. ¿Qué es esto? Not back at all. Like a bird. But much too big. I, I told you, it's a zoo. All kinds of animals. Come on, get moving. We're close. Did you hear that? What was that? 
Well, that was a familiar sound. Something I've never heard Shh. before. Okay, well, let's. We, we should. Keep your eyes open. What for? I can't see a freaking thing. Let me gently tap the bushes. That animal, I know. We call him Mokupa. Mokupa? I hate this damn jungle. Look. This way. Alright, well, I think that's a good spot to uh, call it for the first episode. It's kind of hard to... Uh, Pick spots to divide this up because it's all just a bunch of scenes, just like that. But uh, I think that's a good place there. You get a fair idea of our two central characters, and uh, next time we'll probably get through. I think the majority of the stuff that takes place during the movie. But before that, I'll pop the journal here. This is something that unlocks as you go through the game. Oh, spoilers. I'm going to open the journal to the first page <laughs> and then uh, work my way through it. But yeah, the journal is something that unlocks as we go through the game and it will be relevant to stuff that we're seeing. But this first page here, all we know is that this is by some character we haven't met yet who is an addition to the canon, assuming that Jurassic Park the game is actually considered canon. And all we know is that they are a scientist who presumably invented the extraction method, but then uh, got shoved out of their lab so that Henry Wu could take over. This doesn't really have anything uh, relevant to what we've seen yet, but as we go through, I'll, you know, pop up the relevant pages. So until next time, I've been Shadefire, this is Jurassic Park the Game, Episode 1. And I'll see you again next time, with uh, some more... Jurassic Park. Until then, you folks all take care.